hit and run left some people and businesses without water on this 4th of July. 21 Alive reporter Tom Powell takes us to Jefferson Street in Huntington, where it's hard to miss that something went wrong. The peace and quiet of Huntington's downtown. The peace and quiet of Huntington's downtown. Interrupted by the sound of repairs this 4th of July. Mayor Richard Strick says the city noticed a spike in water pressure in the system overnight. Here's the evidence of what happened. A fire hydrant on its side. The mayor says somebody ran into it. The driver didn't stick around to take responsibility. And caused what's known as a, a water hammer, a shock to the system, and that's what's responsible for the breaks. At least six, he says. My knowledge, we've got six. There might be a run on a, a seventh out there, but um, I know we're digging on six right now. So it was an early morning call for these crews as they worked to repair the damage and get the water flowing again. A few business owners were checking for damage while we were there. We're very sorry for this impact on them. Uh, and we want to make sure that we get everything online as quick as possible. As for the person who caused this mess, the city is working to track down the driver. If we're able to trace this back to uh, the responsible party and their insurance, then uh, those property owners will be able to file a claim as well if they need to. Certainly not the start to the day everyone hoped for, but they'll still have time to celebrate the holiday once it's all fixed. Just wish everyone a safe and happy 4th of July. In Huntington, Tom Powell, 21 Alive News.